Welcome to the Kunsleden, also known as the King's Trail. Sweden's longest hiking trail spanning an impressive 440 kilometers from Hemavan to Abisko. This scenic route is a beloved long distance trail across Europe. In this vlogging series we invite you to join us on our journey of the section from Kvikjok to Saltelewokta. As we venture above the Arctic Circle for the first time, we're stepping into a whole new world. One filled with vast landscapes, majestic reindeer and the mesmerizing northern lights. Let's discover the magic of the Koenslede together. Good morning from the Kungslede, day one. Yeah, we're right now in Sweden. We are starting in Kvikjok. It's early September and we can already see the fall colors and it's beautiful here. So we're really excited. We are very lucky with the weather. We brought all our gear and we're gonna show you this beautiful trip. On this first day, we are hiking from the STF station at Kvikjok towards our first campsite in Porte, which is a 16 kilometer stretch. But first things first, we are weighing our backpacks on the famous scale at the Quick Yolk Station. 12. 12? Nice. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, 15. Not bad. Five days of food as well. Let's go. As we are moving through the last green forest of Sweden, we see the majestic beauty of the Kungslede Trail stretching out before us. Towering trees, crystal clear lakes and sprawling meadows form the backdrop of this breathtaking landscape. As we venture further into the heart of the forest, leaving the rugged terrain of Kvikjok behind us, we are greeted by a wealth of natural wonders at every turn along the trail. The gentle sound of running streams, the soft rustle of leaves, and the distant call of wildlife all serve as a constant reminder of the raw power and beauty of nature. This is truly a place where the human spirit is free to explore and discover the hidden wonders of the natural world. When you find that you're in When all you have is a pile of worries I help you carry the weight Just stay lost here with me Just let ourselves get lost 
As the sun descended below the horizon, painting the sky with fiery hues, we found ourselves in awe of the breathtaking spectacle before us. The shimmering lake below mirrored the heavens above, as if the two were one and the same, ablaze in a dance of orange and red. We retreated to the Fjallstugavborte, seeking refuge in its warm embrace. The rustic cabin with its crackling fireplace and snug atmosphere offered a glimpse into the heart of simple Swedish living. As we allowed the dreamlike landscapes to seep into our consciousness, we prepared a nourishing meal. The gentle hum of the stove and the soft flicker of the fire provided a soothing soundtrack. It was the first day. It was an amazing day. We started in Vikjok and now we're in Parte. And well, no words needed for this campsite. It's absolutely amazing. If we open up our tent, we have a view on like a lake and mountains and it's absolutely amazing. Finally, as we settled in for the night, we let the serene surroundings lull us into a deep slumber content in the knowledge that we were in the midst of a truly magnificent adventure. As raindrops fell gently on our tent, we were slowly awakening, drawn by the soft melody of nature's lullaby. Stepping out from the safety of our tent, we were struck by the morning mist hanging above the calm lake. Eager to explore this fairy tale like world, we emerged from our shelter filling our lungs with the fresh air. We are ready for the second day of our journey on the Kungsleden. This day we are hiking from the campsite of Porte towards the nearest campsite to the boat crossing that gets us to Akte. arrived in Sarek National Park. The Kungslede has a 16 kilometer stretch of the trail in Sarek National Park. And Sarek is well known as the uh, European Alaska, right? Yeah, it uh, runs through the southern part as well, right? Yeah, the southern, the southern part. part of Sarek National Park. And we can see a lot of moose and reindeer here. And it's really a distinct area, like no people here, almost no huts, no cell phone reception. So it's really into the wilderness. As the rain finally stops, we take a moment to breathe in the fresh, damp air. The sound of rain dripping from the leaves above is replaced by the gentle burble of a nearby river, its current running strong and steady. We set about making coffee, relishing the warmth of the mug in our hands and the rich aromas floating up to our noses. It's a simple pleasure, but out here in nature, it feels like the ultimate luxury. As we sit by the river, we're struck by the profound sense of unity we feel with the natural world around us. We're not just observers, but active participants in this environment, sharing space and resources, each element dependent on the others to survive.
as we break through the tree line, we're greeted by the stunning views of Sweden's Lapland. Misty landscape stretching out as far as the eye can see. Above us, the clouds put on a spectacular show, while below, the fall colors create a beautiful patchwork quilt of oranges, yellows and reds. It's a moment of pure awe and wonder, and we feel incredibly fortunate to be here, experiencing this natural beauty firsthand. And the best thing if you ask me about the Kungslede is that there's literally no sign of civilization anywhere. You don't see any houses, cars, you don't hear anything except water running. How's your day been so far, Alet? Really good. I almost cried when I saw the herd of reindeers. That was really on my bucket list for this Sweden trip that I saw some reindeers and it's unbelievable that we already saw them on the second day. The sight of the majestic reindeer grazing in the distance took our breath away. For the first time we were able to witness these magnificent creatures up close, marveling at their grace and beauty. As we continue on our journey, we're treated to the views of pristine lakes stretching out before us, with no sign of civilization in sight. It's like we've stepped back in time to a world untouched by human hands. currently looking for a place to camp. The original plan was to go to a lake and cross the lake there, but it's almost dinner time and we're not even close. So we're looking for a nice camp spot down the valley and we hope there's some water because we need water of course and camp there and then we'll see you tomorrow. Good camp spot to let. Yeah, except for this big rock. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pretty good spot right here next to the stream. And there's even a place for a fire. So. Everything we need. Finally, we set foot at our campsite, surrounded by trees and the gentle sound of a nearby river. It's a humbling experience to be so intimately connected with the natural world, and we feel a deep sense of peace and contentment settling over us. As we settle into our tent for the night, we're grateful for the opportunity to disconnect from everyday life and immerse ourselves in the quiet beauty of Sweden. Good morning. Good morning. It was a pretty, pretty cold morning and a really damp and rainy morning as you can see still in the tent. Right now it's 6 o'clock and it was freezing. But 
our cumulus sleeping bags kept us really really warm and cozy this night. <laughs> Completely frozen. Yeah, it was a pretty cold night, but as you can see behind me, the sun is coming up at the moment and it's already heating up our faces. From here, it's one to one and a half hour to the boat, which is at the lake. And on the other side of the lake, we'll probably stay tonight. There's supposed to be a really nice campsite and hut on the other side of the lake. And while we're there and the weather is this great, we might show our pack list to you. So make sure to check that one out as well. We're gonna show what we packed, what we brought, our food, basically everything that we brought during this trip. We're gonna record it there because the weather is beautiful. We can dry our tent, we can dry our sleeping bags because they got a little bit damp last night and chill a little bit. Despite a chilly morning, we savored our time breaking camp, soaking in the tranquility of the wilderness. Just in time, we reached the boat crossing at Lautaura, which is a point where you will meet fellow hikers. As we saw the other hikers arriving, we couldn't help but feel a sense of curiosity and excitement towards those who had already hiked the Kunstleden in the opposite direction, wondering what adventures they had encountered on their way. As we crossed the calm waters of Lightaura, we couldn't help but feel a sense of calmness getting over us. The mist still clung to the surroundings like a thick blanket. Slowly the mist began to lift, revealing a glimpse of the rugged landscapes that lay beyond. We held our breath, waiting for the moment when the last of the mist would clear away, and reveal the full extent of the view, and when it did, we were left speechless. with the camp spot Alette. I'm really really happy this is like if you see this view it's insane it's literally everything we, we well I'm speechless as you can hear <laughs> since we arrived early at our campsite we took the time to dry our tent and sleep in bags from the night before with everything ready we started preparing dinner what are we having for dinner um, I'm having a kibola having an Indian curry with rice. Ta-da! Quinoa! 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 <laughs> oh. 
While enjoying dinner, we took the time to reflect on our day. And we are really grateful for this magnificent campsite at STF Akte. STF Akte is a popular stop for hikers on the Kungslede. It offers both sleeping accommodations in the hut or camping at an additional fee. As a guest, you will have access to a fully equipped kitchen, showers and even a sauna. STF Akte also features a small shop where you can purchase snacks, basic supplies and souvenirs. And it is also the perfect place to rest and recharge. How was your day? My day was really good. It was a super sunny day. So we decided after the boat to stay at the campsite here at Akte. And we even recorded a packing list video. So if you're curious about that, definitely check it out. As the sun began to set, we couldn't resist the urge to explore our surroundings. With the perfect weather on our side, we took our time wandering around and immersing ourselves in the breathtaking beauty of the area. As the day drew to a close, we stood around a warm and crackling campfire under the stars, with the silhouetted mountains serving as a breathtaking backdrop. It was already a day that we would never forget, from the beautiful lake crossings to the stunning campsite and spectacular sunset views. But just when we thought it couldn't get any better, we experienced this. We just left our camp and it was a really, really, really cold night. The temperature dropped way below freezing and we had a very rough night. But in that rough night, just before we saw the Northern Lights where we were very happy, maybe that was the reason why we couldn't keep warm in the night because we stayed up very late, very chilly, but the Northern Lights were amazing. Today we're going to Sito Yauda. From here is 10 kilometers, so it shouldn't take that long. And there we're gonna catch a boat at five. And the special thing about that boat, the guy who owns the place, the boat, he is a fisherman and he sells his fish as well where we can eat. <laughs> really looking forward to that.
Leaving the special campsite of Axter was tough. Its charm held us tight, making it hard to say goodbye. But as we climbed to higher ground, the scenery changed dramatically. The trees vanished, replaced by a landscape resembling the unique and rugged terrain of Mars. It felt like stepping into a whole new world waiting to be explored. ringing. Hey Lars, this is Dane and Alet. We would like to cross the lake at 17.15 today, so this afternoon for two people. Uh, I will call you back later, but then you, uh, then you know. Bye bye. He said something in Swedish. Apparently we have to call a guy here because he lives on the other side of the lake and if we're in, this is the only place where we have signal so we have to call here and then he comes with the boat to this side of the lake at a quarter past five uh, but I got his voicemail so I think the smart option is to wait here and call in 10 minutes or something yeah, I guess so. it's a beautiful day so it's not a bad place to wait 10 minutes Lars confirmed so we can continue our hike to the lake and catch the boat tonight and hopefully have some warm fish in our belly this evening. The lake crossing was a sight of beauty, yet an unexpected challenge arose when the boat's motor hit the lake floor. Despite the mishap, the boat operator repaired the boat and after two hours we were able to continue our journey. Unfortunately, the fish we mentioned before wasn't there. There was no one selling it on the other side of the lake. And due to the really cold last night, we decided to treat ourselves by staying in a cozy hut next to this beautiful lake. What we didn't expect was the incredible quietness, unlike anything we had ever experienced before. In this peaceful and calm place, there was complete silence. No distant sounds, no echoes of civilization. Just a serene and undisturbed tranquility that wrapped around us like a comforting hug. To make the most of the cozy hut's warmth, we seized the opportunity to dry our tent. And to add a touch of perfection, we kindled a fire in the fireplace. We found ourselves alone in the hut, savoring the solitude and serenity that surrounded us. As the sun started its descent, casting a warm glow across the landscape, we prepared a delicious dinner.
Positioned by the window, we enjoyed a table with a spectacular view, overlooking the lake as the vibrant colors of the sunset painted the sky. It was a breathtaking spectacle, an ever-changing masterpiece that unfolded before our very eyes, adding a touch of magic to our meal. How's that taste? We awaken to a world decorated with glistening morning dew, softly dripping from the ceiling of our cabin. The tranquility enveloped the quiet lake, granting us a profound stillness that surpassed any silence we had ever experienced. With a fresh cup of coffee in hand, we savor the morning's embrace while overlooking the calming lake. Now, it was time to embark on the final day of the Kungslede. With hearts full of anticipation, we prepared ourselves to take the last steps on this extraordinary trail. Good morning! Good morning! Uh, after the boat ride, we arrived at this side of the lake at City Jauren, and we thought we could buy some bread and fish, but unfortunately, the shop. Well, I think it was a shop was closed. Yeah, there was nothing actually. No, there was nothing. <laughs> there was just one home of uh, a Sami family who took us across the lake and that was about it. Yeah, so we ended up going to an SDF hut instead. First plan was to go camping, but all our gear was still wet from the freezing night before. So we decided to treat ourselves in the hut and we made a fire over there and had a hot meal and it was really nice and cozy and we are very relaxed now up for another day. Today there won't be any more lake crossings as we are making our way to the STF station of Saltelewokta, which is a 19 kilometer stretch. Right now we are waiting for a herd of reindeers because they are right on the track and we don't want to scare them. Um, so we're waiting for them to just go somewhere else.
Aletta forgot her trekking pole, oh, so I had to get it. You're lying! <laughs> you forgot your trekking pole! <gasps> no, I forgot the trekking pole, but I have it now. Our day has been perfect so far. We're walking on like a field. It's like an all barren landscape with beautiful fall colors. We saw a lot of reindeer and we had a really, really chill lunch as well. So it's a happy day. Be here at my shoulder Be here in my side Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here in the autumn When all the colors call Be the burning memory Of all the summers gone Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Our final night in the tent along this incredible trail, we relished the tranquility that enveloped us. It was a chance to recap the multitude of breathtaking moments we had encountered on the Kungslede. From encountering the majestic reindeer grazing in their natural habitat to witnessing the mesmerizing dance of the northern lights painting the night sky, Sweden had unfolded its wonders before us. Yet, it was the profound silence that resonated deeply within our souls. A unique and immersive experience that only Sweden could offer. As we bid farewell to this extraordinary trail, we carry the memories of the Kungslede close to our hearts. But our first for adventure remains. We are catching the bus to embark on a journey to the picturesque Höga Kustelede on the east coast of Sweden. Stay tuned for our journey continues, revealing more of Sweden's marvels and the boundless beauty that awaits us. This was the Kungslede, 